EMIG task number five, running stitch. To perform this task, you will be provided with two laparoscopic needle drivers. You will also be provided with one Maryland grasper to use in place of one of the needle drivers if you so choose. And you will also be provided with one pair of laparoscopic scissors. You will pick a side of the lap trainer to stand on. You must remain on this side for the duration of the task. You may utilize any of the ports on the trainer. The long Penrose drain for this task will be positioned on the back wall of the lapper bowl. You will be provided with a piece of suture that has been cut to 20 centimeters length and a pre-made anchor knot at the 18 centimeter position on a curved needle. You will use this suture to close the opening in the long Penrose drain using a running suture that is not locking. You may run your suture either right to left or left to right, and you may run it either anterior to posterior or posterior to anterior. The maximum time limit for this task is 10 minutes or 600 seconds. Timing will begin when an instrument or the suture is visible on the monitor and ends when the needle end of the suture has been cut from your completed run inside the trainer. Errors will include any deviations from the marks on the Penrose drain, tearing through the Penrose, pulling the anchor knot through the Penrose, and any slack of loops of suture between the marks on the Penrose. Timing for this task begins when an instrument is visible on screen. You should introduce the suture into the trainer, holding the suture and not the needle. You will pass the, the needle through each pair of marks on the Penrose drain. The marks are positioned on both the inside and outside of the Penrose for reference and ease. The anchor knot should be pulled up against the first target that you pass your needle through taking care to not pull the anchor knot through the pen rows. You will continue running your suture, passing the needle through each pair of marks in a non-locking fashion. You will want to make sure that there are no loops of suture between the marks. You also may utilize the suture block inside the lapper bowl for assistance. Although not demonstrated in the video, you are not required to pass the needle through both targets in one throw. You may utilize two throws if needed. To complete the task, you will not be required to tie a knot. You will pass your laparoscopic scissors into the trainer and cut the needle end off of the completed suture.